Milo Lyons, Henry Fall. We're out here at Superstition Mountain Golf and Country Club. And we're gonna be talking about the plane swing here today. A few concepts that we can use in our golf swing um, with the plane swing. I mean, excellent visual, number one. For sure, I use it a lot for showing visuals of how the motion works. And I also like to use it a lot for helping people feel what it feels like from basically waist high to waist high on the other side of their golf swing. So yeah, it's a, it's a really good training aid. Yeah, so we're gonna start forward on here, but then we're gonna move down the line. And we're also gonna put a camera on the target side to really see how our body's working and sort of where the club is tracking um, on this plane. Now this is adjustable, it goes up more vertical plane and a more uh, flat horizontal plane so it kind of can fit to your body the key here though is that this club or we're using a shaft here does not have to always be on this plane for sure so it, not everybody swings on a perfectly symmetrical back and up up the plane down the plane swing right some right. players have a vertical backswing and then they shallow it onto the plane and other players are more in and up and out but what really matters is from about here to here, yep. pretty much any tour player, if you, put them, they're, they're, if you put them on video from down the line, their swing does this. Right, so from delivery position to club parallel to ground in the through swing, we call it P6 to P8, that's where it's gonna be pretty constant. You'll have a little in to out draw, you might have a little yeah, across so the line fade, but it's pretty constant. For sure. So an in-to-out draw would be, so you just tip, tilt this plane swing slightly and you, yep. sw you swing it slightly into out and a little fade would be tilted the other way slightly. Right. But good players tend to be, you know, they make a kind of a half circle down there. That bottom of the half circle is, is yep. pretty symmetrical. And what you'll really see in the down the line, what I love about this, um, this training aid, we'll call it plane swing, is that you really get the visual of golf being a side-on sport. It is not straight, straight, you know, you're not bringing the club right out to the go uh, the target. It's on a plane, right? It's swinging on a plane and going kind of around you. Right. Now, you're the center, but you're constantly pivoting. Yep. So I see a lot of amateurs when they're swinging, they are trying to be the center, but they're not moving. The, the, center, do the center needs to pivot. Yeah. So if there's one thing that you really take away from this video, it's the visual component in my mind. That's what I really like on this uh, this training aid. Awesome. So let me step in real quick and we just can Show talk about a couple of things from this angle. Um, you know, so I step in here, I take my pretty normal setup here. And as I go back, my club travels more on this plane. You, for example, though. For me, this felt like it was way too deep. Right. I, swing, I swing up off of it. Right. And then I get back down on it about the time I get to there. Right. Yeah. So again, club parallel to club parallel, this is where it should be tracking the most and riding this bar. Exactly. So for me, I like to get it right down to this delivery position and then accelerate to the finish and use my body to spiral on this plane and finish right. I actually have my club then come back off. For sure. Yeah, mine, I pretty sure mine would come back off as well. Let me see you do a couple in here. So if I'm set up here, when I swing back, my normal swing would get, you know, it's a six inches off that bar. Yep. So for me to get that on the bar is like, oh my goodness. That's but I do like how it forces you to get this really big turn oh yeah. spiral You're up. You're getting big turn. Yeah. I just tend to get my hands up yep. more. And now I would get back down on it. Right, I could feel it. It hit it pretty hard right there. And then it would go around like that. Yep. And then in my follow through, it would come back off. Right. What I also like about this is what it does to your wrists. It forces you because if you just rotate your arms over, you're kind of fighting this. Well, if I rotate plane. my arms over, I get off of it. So for me to keep my arm, the, the, the shaft of this, on the plane, I can't twist because mm -hmm. I come off. So it's pretty good aid to help you understand the motion of what your body needs to do. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at the down the line. 
so they can see that visual as well. We're down the line now. I'm inside the plane swing. I feel like I'm in a spaceship or something. <laughs> Pretty cool. So again, setting up, following this plane on the way back. For me, like we said, it's more on plane. Yours comes off a little more and then shallows. Yep. I have a little loop in my transition where you're more up the plane, down the plane. And we really saw that when we actually put you on gears and we saw your avatar and how you move the club. It was pretty much up and down. Yeah. And if you look at my gears, it's up and significant shallowing move and down. So let's talk about a few players that we've seen throughout history and how it relates to this plane here. If we have, let's say, Matt Wolf, younger guy that you see now on tour. Matt Wolf would be off of it almost the entire swing and then he would shallow and he would get on it right there. Boom. Yep. Yep. Same with like a Jim Furyk. Now let's say Raymond Floyd or J.B. Holmes. Well, they would go inside of it, the back, and then they would come out and get on it and come down. Yep. Yep. And then you have your maybe Ben Hogan's or Lee Trevino's where it's a little more on this plane. Be close to on the plane, but then shallow out just a little bit more. Yeah, it might even be a flatter plane, and this would go down Yeah, we'd have more. to lower it a little bit, because they swing on a fairly shallow plane. Yeah. And so the club works more around, and then shallows out even a little bit more, and comes on a really, you know, pretty shallow plane into the ball. Yeah. Like a Sergio. Yep. And then someone might be a little more vertical. And the, it's amazing, too, because the clubs can dictate some of this, too. If you have flatter lie angles, Theoretically, it might be a little flatter and a little more upright. Might be more upright. So, yeah, a lot of that is determined by your anatomy, right? Right. So, tall people generally are going to swing more vertical. Short people generally going to swing more around. Yeah. So that's why it's important that this thing is adjustable. Yeah. So for me, th again, it goes back to this delivery position, and you were saying the club parallel to club parallel, P6 to P8 here. For me, I want to have the end of this club or shaft just inside my hands. If I start getting them outside, I'm either stuck or it's Slice City. Or a big pool if the face is shut. Yep. So, so I like to have it right here. Exactly. I like to feel like the hands is just slightly outside of that so that the head would be slightly behind your hands at that point. Yep. My body's starting to get in the ground. I'm rotating. And now I just spiral up to the finish oh, if I you stay on it. this thing. <laughs> you can see right here I'm my spine is still on uh, in angle here. My eyes are still on this angle. Everything is still on this plane. Yeah. Perfect. So let me jump in there and make a swing real fast. Yeah, yeah. Feel what that feels like. So it's up the plane. Now mine would come off get back on and work around. But from here to here, it feels so natural. That's just my normal motion. Once I get, yep. that's just, just what I would do. It's a great feeling from impact to wherever your finish is, or let's say you can stop right here. Yeah. Because the club goes back around you to the left. The club comes back around, your hands, you can see your hands go back around. So you're not like this. Yep, and you're on this nice tilt here. Yep. Your head's on a tilt, shoulders. Everything's angled like like the plane switch. Yep. So again, this goes back to that visual component and understanding of using this. All right, so I, I don't know about you, Milo, but when I'm looking at swings and I get a glance from a target side camera angle of any of these tour pros, I learn so much. It's one of my favorite angles to look at because you really start to see how the hips the body, the chest starts opening up and the club goes back around you. And it's just, for some people, it's really hard to see that. They think the club goes down the line at the target. But when you see that target side camera angle, oh, yeah, there's you so can, much to learn. It's so clear that the only time the club is actually kind of traveling up the target line is right here. Right. So when you hit the ball, that's kind of the only time when the club was going somewhat straight. Other than that, it's going up the plane over here, down the plane, and then back up and into the up and in. So it's not really ever going in a straight line. Yep. So I, I think it's just a great visual, and uh, you know, seeing the movement from that side, how the body's working again, staying on that tilt, and the club working back around you, 
Um, just it's uh, and this is why again I, I love this plane swing for that reason is yeah. you get to feel that um, and have a sort of guide you know so for a beginner golfer this is a great starting point but there are a lot of pros that use this as well for sure yeah a lot of people like to train what it feels like from as we said p6 to p8 right and for those of you who don't know what that is that's basically from waist high to waist high on the other side and so they're really training this this arc it's it's an arc that's on a slight angle right yep and so if you can get really good from here over to here you're probably pretty good yeah one other thing I like to think of when I'm in this is outside of just my my tilt my body how it's spiraling up and then spiraling down and then back up is this trail arm in the hand I almost feel like my hand is matching this plane throughout the swing am I wrong to think that no it's a great visual the, the golf swing really doesn't need to have a lot of twisting in my opinion it would be simpler if we used less so if you can feel that in reality it's probably not going to happen exactly like that right but that would be an awesome feel from this point in the swing over to this point in the swing and a lot of people are pretty good at actually getting that to happen from here to here that yeah. simplifies what happens down there around the ball now if we're having to do this down around the ball you know we're beholden the timing some days we're gonna have it and some days we're gonna not have it well I mean one of the best players in the world now has spent hours using something very similar to the plane swing and that's Bryson DeChambeau and he talks about not having forearm rotation so to me again you get in here and I have that feeling like that right hand is just kind of following this this arc here something that I I teach everybody yeah so this is a plane swing um, again, great visual and a lot to learn from, from using this, or at least watching a video on it. For sure.